Welcome back to Judo Breakdowns, your source for judo commentary on the internet. And what I have for you today is a match from the Grand Slam in Paris 2022 in the women's under 63 category between Alexia uh, Castilos, uh, Castilos from Brazil and Ji Jeong Kim from uh, Korea. All right, and so Alexia is in the white and Ji Jeong is in the blue. All right, right now they've got their grips and we're just waiting for what type of attacks they're going for. It does look like Alexia is going for, trying to go for the left grip. Okay, and that's just a yank down. And for the drop sailing. And Ji Jong also goes for drop and the same. So three in a row, left drop sailing. Both, all three pretty far away in different sequence. Okay, and that's a third attempt from Alexia for the same throw. Um, could be a sign that <laughs> this is not going to work. Or maybe she is feeling something that uh, that gives her hope that this is that this is going to work. But after three times in a row, you do you don't expect it to really. Mm hmm. All right. See. Well, there we go. That could have worked. All right. And we're going to the Nawaz. Are we going to see a turnover? She's got that arm elbow, but I don't think that's yeah, hard to do. The leg is under the body, so yeah, you're gonna have to really work hard to to get the turnover. I think we're gonna get a mate call soon. Mm hmm. Okay, let's uh, continue here. I wonder if uh, Alexia is going to go back to that uh, Ipon Seoe well, as it were. And uh, we are seeing a pretty bent over stance by Alexia there. I, I would like to see some activity. Okay, yeah, here we go. Uh, Ji Jong go, going with the drop Seoe. Not bad, actually, because of how bent over Alexia was. But uh, you saw that um, she went over to the right where the attack was over, was meant to be over to the left. <coughs> Sometimes it, that's, a, that's generally an indication there hasn't been enough rotation of the hip. Um, so they end up on the wrong side. Okay. Yeah, still we're still seeing the same attack from Alexia, and we're seeing a bit of more mixing up from Ji Jong. I tend to prefer, you know, showing different looks, and uh, you know, the pr a predictable player is. It's one to be. It, it's hard to win when you're when you're considered predictable. Right, so I'm not saying that Alexi is predictable, but if you don't give them a reason to th to suspect another attack was coming, then once again the drop say away, then that's what they're going to expect. Okay, at least a little bit there with the step over, and uh, we're seeing a driving down of the the sleeves by Alexia. I really doubt that the Sode is coming, but hey, that could that could uh, that could happen. Oh, close. That's really, really close. That could have been a Wazari uh, if there was sort of a second drive to that off the first. Uh, so the drive and then sort of a second gear almost in a way to get uh, Alexia on her side or her back. But because she landed on her, her, on her rear and didn't get uh, taken to her back, there's no score. All right. Okay. 
All right. So back to the – oh, that was probably the best attempt. So I think we've seen about like eight or nine attempts from Alexia on that uh, drop save. That was probably the best attempt. That is not a great attempt. <laughs> okay. And uh, once again, going for the arm bar. No? Okay. Couldn't quite tell if there was any um, attack of the hands in the Nawaza because uh, the bodies were in the way the camera angle wouldn't allow. Okay. For now, still expecting the same. Okay, we're into golden score now. Anything is everything, so uh, it's time to really pull out whatever tax you can. Oh, and there it is. That's a Wazari. That's going to be the Wazari. It is. Okay, wow. Alexia Cotter finally with the the drop uh, Sayoe. Um to advance to the next round. Congratulations to Alexia. Let's have a look. It does, it did seem a little bit different than what uh, all of her other attempts were. And in that, um, there seemed to be more of a, or there was a second sort of push through. See, th so that's, all the, all the other times that I had seen her, she had been a little bit more to the right. And once she got to this position, it was essentially a turtling down, right? And here, you can see a uh, that Ji Jong is off balance to her left, but also there is a drive up this way to really finish the throw from the part of Alexa. This leg is going to extend, and yeah, exactly. And that's that's really what it took to get it. Now, not that wasn't that wouldn't work in all of her attempts because some of them were pretty far away, but. What made this different than the other attempts is the fact that A, she was a lot closer, and B, uh, the there was a secondary drive to really get the turn uh, to really get the turn for the throw. So, um, congrats to Alexia for the victory. Um, if you have any thoughts of your own on this match or feedback for me, please leave a comment. If you enjoyed this, uh, hit the like button or subscribe. And until next match. Have a great, uh, have a great night.